This is Cleopatra Okoai and I'm live at Old Works Road, popularly called PWD, around Ikeja along area of Lagos State, where at the early hours of this morning, around 8 a.m. in the morning, um, a bus rapid transit, popularly called BRT, collided with an oncoming train. Now the BRT was said to be transporting some staff of Lagos State Government en route um, the Ikeja Alausa office when the accident happened while the BRT was trying to take the rail crossing. Now if you can see a lot of the um, remains of the accident have been cleared thanks to LASEMA and the Federal Road Safety Corps and we'll be talking to some of the residents or people who were um, eyewitness at the scene of the accident. Yes, I'm Officer Baku in Lukman Tunde, ARC Ikeja Unit Command, FISC. Yes, this incident occurred this morning around 8.00 hours we've been here taking charge of the incident. It is a coalition between the BRT and the train, which the report getting to us was like the BRT quickly want to use the road before the arrival of the train, but unfortunately, the coalition occurred. So we took charge from there. We were able to move alongside with other agencies, Lamata and others, to move about 80 people to Lassut, which four is actually confirmed death to us before leaving. We have to come back to the scene to make sure the road is safe to remove the obstruction from the railway so that other road users may find it comfortable for them to use. The, so that's what we are still here doing at the moment. What should the people of Lagos expect after such incidents have happened? Yes, actually there is an instant um, investigation going on from the internal and external factors. Um, we have our men who take logistics and some research um, policies. We've sent them the reports and we've got feedback from people using the road. Actually, there, are, there is always a body kit differentiating the vehicle from the train initially before now, before the road is being reconstructed. So now it's the feedback we're having now is for them to bring back the body kit. Even the person at the station point raising up the flag, we know our motor is, they quickly want to pass, we want to meet up with the with our schedule, with our work, so the vehicle refused to stop, that was the report. So assuming there is a barricade, there is an iron there, definitely you won't go over the iron. So with the report we are having at now, the research at now is insisting that there should be the barricade at the boot edge, both the vehicle coming and the one going out. So once the iron is dropped, definitely you'll be forced to stop. So we are still here taking some logistics and some report from other users, what have been happening. Are these people raising the flag properly? Have they been doing their work? Or they are just under the tree enjoying themselves and all that. And that's why we're still in here. 